The newest agent that has become FDA approved is Rizdaplan. And it, as you recall, like nusinersen, is an SMN2 splicing modifier. It differs in that it's oral, it's a liquid medication, and it distributes one-to-one -one into the central nervous system. So blood and CNS are more or less the same, at least based on preclinical data. It's found to increase, because it's systemic, SMN levels several fold. And there's a theoretical advantage to systemic effects such as on neuromuscular junction and on muscle was found to be safe and none of the preclinical study findings were observed no patient withdrew and it was found to be very safe and it's the newest one approved just august of this year and it's indicated for patients two months of age and over so let's just go over very quickly i'm going to focus on the two symptomatic trials, the firefish in infants, the sunfish in older onset SMA, and jewelfish is for non-naive, and the rainbowfish study is for pre-symptomatic but is still underway. If you look at the firefish, and these are babies with SMA type 1 who are a bit older than the other infants that we saw. I think the mean was 6.4 months. And when you look at 12 months on Rizdaplan, 41% of them were sitting. In the total group, group one and group two, the average was 33%. And importantly, 90% were event-free, meaning alive and no need for permanent ventilation. And by 28 months, 88% were in that category. They also improved strength-wise as well. This just shows that in the orange, which is the therapeutic dose, there was an increase at about four weeks peak, and then a sustained increase in SMN protein level in blood, which you can do because it is a systemic medication. The second pivotal trial is sunfish, which used the MFM. It's the motor function measure that's used in Europe, and it's thought to be more sensitive, especially for advanced disease. And this is a placebo control trial, and these were unlike any of the other studies, includes adults. It's children 2 to adults to 25 years of age. They found that it increased about twofold the SMN2 protein level in blood. But the main outcome was the MFM after 12 months, and there was an improvement. It was, on average, uh, not as robust as you might see with other cohorts, but these are older, more advanced disease, but about 38% of them did have three points on the MFM, which is thought to be clinically meaningful. And when you look at the arm abilities, the revised upper limb module, that also showed an improvement of about 1.59, both of which were statistically significant. To conclude, there are now three FDA-approved SMA treatments. They're listed here with their generic and their brand name so we can identify them. 